Now let's understand why we are doing, or at least what is the intuition behind this formation in the lens. Okay. So first thing is that we typically have multiple different filters which help us in creating this multiple feature map. And so essentially what we do is we try to detect multiple features per layer using the idea of multiple features. So multiple filters. Okay. So again, here if you have the second feature, then what we are recognizing, we are taking the same inner, but we are convolving it and we are getting the second set of features from the uh, you know, uh, image that we have. If I apply a third filter on that, I will get a third sort of inner look, a third scope or a third angle uh, of looking at the image that I have. So, and again, if I apply the fourth one, I will get a fourth angle to look at the image. So, the applying different filters allows us to basically create these multiple feature maps. And essentially, these filters could be thought of as a multiple channel of images or multiple ways of looking at the image. Okay, that's one intuition. And the second intuition is is that after convolving, we are getting these feature maps, right? And when we do this multiple operations of convolutions and max pooling, and then again convolution and max pooling, what we are doing is we are creating, combining the feature map to create more complex representation. So if you take, you know, this height, maybe this feature or the convolution operator after buffing different filter will mean that in a cat image, I'm focusing more on the head portion of the cat. And some other portion might be focusing on the, you know, the leg portion of the cat and stuff like that. So the replication of this uh, convolution and, you know, max pooling allows us to do and extract these complex representations which are important for recognizing the, uh, uh, the object that is present in the image.